Geno's appointment will see him take the role as chief advisor for internal matters, something he has vast experience in. In that note, I also welcome him by pressing his strong credentials as a high-ranking constitutional office holder and a former police commissioner of Papua New Guinea. Basil said Geno will not only advise in security matters, but also in matters of public service. I also praise Chief Ila Geno by adding that the party is focused on implementing policies that will clearly define an institutional and administrative path to urgent economic recovery. Geno said his main reason for joining Pangu is because of the constitution, which he believes has been dented after 40 years of independence. Over the years, last 40 years, all of us have witnessed that that constitution has been dented from time to time for sinister motives. And I, for one, with other like-minded Papua New Guineans, are concerned about the dent it's caused. He said being a constitutional office holder for over 20 years, he is clear on what role he will play in developing policies for Pangu Party leading into next year's general elections. I want to say that as a Papua New Guinean, I am privileged to have said three main elements of any democratic society where you deal with rule of law, the criminal laws, the administrative law, and constitutional law to do with running of a democratic society, which is Papua New Guinea. And I want to thank you sincerely, and all my heart is committed to what Pangu is doing. Stanley Ove Jr., National MTV News.